good morning in this we will learn about the pericyclic reaction what are pericyclic reactions what are the types of pericyclic reactions what are the mechanisms of uh, pericyclic reactions and the questions asked how the questions are asked in various competitive examinations uh, these reactions are often asked in competitive examinations let us first study about pericyclic reactions pericyclic reactions are nothing but cyclic concerted reaction cyclic concerted reaction it occurs in only single step or in one step there will be no intermediate form there will be no intermediate form to only transition state is formed for example cyclic transition state is formed and the reaction pericyclic reactions are very stereo selective depending upon temperature depending upon temperature and in the presence of light they are stereo selective they are reversible reactions pericyclic reactions are reversible reactions and also um, okay so what are the types of pericyclic reactions now we will see the characteristics of we are seeing the characteristics of pericyclic reactions there will be no intermediates formed there are four there are four characteristics of pericyclic reactions and what are the types similarly there are four types of pericyclic reactions cycloaddition reaction for example we have studied a deep sort of reaction it is in plus 2 as well as in bsc as well as in msc electrocyclic reaction sigmatropic rearrangement reaction for example trisen hope rearrangement or or uh, nothing but pericyclic reactions and electrophilic reactions they are also pericyclic reactions let us first see the cycloaddition reaction cycloaddition reaction deep solder reaction is an is a well known example of is a well known example of a cycloaddition reaction it, it is also called thermal cyclization for example in deep solder reaction diene reacts with heme diene 13 buta diene it consists of four pi electrons and heme it consists of two pi electron react react in the presence of heat it undergoes cyclization it undergoes cyclization therefore it undergoes cyclization through the transition state cyclic transition state to give this product it involves reorganization of sigma and pi bond uh pericyclic reactions involves the reorganization of sigma bond sigma bond and pi bond okay now as you have to see what is formed okay so this is the product formed and this reaction especially this reaction is reversible this reaction is reversible in this case if it is reversible then if you do it this way and you will get back the product you will get back the product okay the reverse reaction is called retro deep solder reaction the reverse reaction is called retro deep solder reaction okay now let us see a problem asking gate reaction asking gate 2001 gate iit gate 2001 one three buta diene reacts with malic anhydride this is malic anhydride right? on heating gives this product okay you see here this is um, diene diene and this is dieno5 this is called a dieno file because it attacks the diene this heme or malic anhydride right? containing um, one pi uh, one one double bond it attacks the one diene so it is called a dieno file dieno file file means dieno diene loving okay so if you electron withdrawing group if there are electron withdrawing groups for example here there are three electron withdrawing group co Po and O, the the reaction is favored. The deep solder reaction is favored by diophile having electron withdrawing groups. Electron withdrawing groups. Suppose if um, diophile with electron releasing group, the reaction is not favored. So the the rate of the reaction will be fast, and also the yield will obtain is also large in the case of diophile with electron uh, withdrawing uh, substituent. Okay. Now, as you see the here. the reactions are concerted the reactions uh, takes place by a concerted uh, cyclic um, concerted mechanism in a single step 
that was the molecularity of the reaction one and then not a single step. Okay, now as you see here, the um, the attack will be this will this will be front, this will be front, and this will be back. So this will the, the, this means these two hydrogens are facing towards you. Okay, this this means okay if it is this way if this way then if you are the two hydrogens are facing away from you this hydrogen are facing towards you and this means the two hydrogens are facing away from you here as you see diene and the hydride so the bonds are formed on the same side bonds are formed on the same side overlap same side and here this will be the same so, so the they are same one and the same but this is a cis both are cis here the um, uh, bonds are formed on the front side. So this is the supra supra and here the bonds are formed down up. Okay, now like this and this, therefore antra, antra, uh, antra, antra, and they are cis, cis or sin addition. Uh, in another term in pericyclic reaction, they will use the suprafacial, suprafacial attack. And antraphasial, antraphasial down attack. This is the upside. Okay, so you will get the product. Now, in the presence of light, for example, they are stereoselective. They are stereoselective, and in the presence of light, you will get that, that is uh, one one facing towards you and another facing uh, away from you. Therefore, supra antra. That is trans supra antra is a term used in uh, used in pericyclic reaction. Okay, so in the presence of heat, the product formed is uh, one isomer, and in the presence of light, the product formed is a different isomer because um, because the one is supra, another another attack, another there will be rotation and another attack from the bottom. So you will get supra and raw, or you can also antra supra. You can say this will be facing away from you, and this will be facing towards you. So the, okay. Now let us see another uh, disorder reaction. This is a uh, cyclodiene, cyclohexadiene, cyclohexadiene. This is not a planar molecule. This, uh, if you write in this way, you will be confused. So it, this is uh, not a planar molecule. It can be written in this way. It is like a um, bend uh, shape. Okay. Now this is now this can attack now malignant right, as malignant. To give this product, therefore it will come here and it will come here like this. Okay. So you will get this uh, product. I have numbered so that you will not be confused to where the attack will be taking place. Okay. Similarly, these reactions are very useful uh, in synthetic chemistry. Pericyclic reactions are very useful. Uh, they are they can be easily carried out. The yields are very very high. For example, cortisol. Cortisol is nothing but a hormone. It is a hormone. The structure of the hormone is as follows. This can be uh, prepared from retro D cell. For example, how it can be prepared? For example, if you take this one, okay, how it can be prepared? So let us see now in this way. Okay. So you will get. O e two five e three and this bond is uh, broken. Okay, so by this bond is broken. This bond is broken and this bond is broken plus. So this is benzophenone. This is benzo para benzo phenol, and this is this uh, one three butadiene, one three butadiene. Okay, here we are electron re electron releasing group, and here electron withdrawing group. Therefore, the reaction is very much favored in the in this direction, in this direction to give the. So this is like retro disorder reaction. You will be given the product. What are the reactants? What are the reactants? To give this product, what are the reactants? For example, how cortisol is prepared from the uh, uh, reactants? What are the reactants? So, if you know the uh, disorder reaction, disorder reaction, then you can think in a reverse uh, disorder reaction 
the reaction and then you can obtain the reaction that will give the product. Now let us see, similarly you have, so this is 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2, you can also have 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 addition, for example, you can have 2 plus 2, you will get cyclobutane, cyclobutane and this again will give, on heating will give the product again, two molecules of ethylene. Okay. So this is the 2 plus 2 type, this is 4 plus 2 type and the 6 plus 4 type. There are several um, types of um, heat solder reactions depending upon uh, 4, 5 CCS, 2, 5 CCS or 2, 5 CCS and 2, 5 uh, CCS are involved in the reaction. Now let us see the next second type, electrocyclic reactions. Electrocyclic reactions are very very important. For example, uh, I have given the, the problem asked in question asked in IIT J to 2001. Okay, this is a compound. Okay, this on heating, this on heating gives. Okay, how the electrons are um, reorganized? How the bonds are sigma bonds and pi bonds are reorganized? So you will get this product. Okay, or if you will like this, you will get this product. This was. Why agitated? This is uh, most of the systems are one three beta heavy and um, and especially here they are all why agitated. Uh, such compounds only will undergo electrocyclic reaction. Why agitated? Why uh, agitated organic compounds only will undergo. Similarly, in this case, you will get so what is the product? You will get cyclic product. Okay, so this. This, uh, this is the product you will get. So similarly here, okay, they are um, they are, they will ask uh, when they are fused with the benzene ring or they will fuse with the uh, cyclohexane ring or other ring. They will ask like that. The problems will be asked like that. You will not be confused. They will be simply electrocyclic reactions only. But if you know, if you if you know you know this, but when you write like this, you will be confused. So you should. Uh, uh, try to do more uh, examples so that you will be familiar with the problem electrocyclic. For example, here another example I have shown here, and in this case, as you see, so this is the product form, or it can be written like this. Uh, so, if, if this is if this form is written, suppose you are asked to convert this to this, then you cannot, you are not able to convert because this structure how you will. Uh, rearrange uh, the pi bond, sigma bond to give this structure. Once you write in this form, then you will know this reverse reaction. For example, reverse reaction will be like this. Okay. So this will be a uh, common um, problem uh, for uh, understanding the deep sort of reactions uh, in examination. Next, uh, you will see here. This is uh, this uh, this is known as. Uh, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, uh, hexotriene, hexotriene, and it can be written like this. So, it can undergo electrocyclic reaction, reorganization of uh, sigma bond and pi bond to give this product. Okay, so when they are heating, you will get this product. Okay, now the thing is, I forgot to tell here, only cis form, okay, this is cis isomer. And this is trans isomer, only this isomer can undergo deep solder reaction. It is undergo cycloaddition reaction or deep solder reaction. Or if you heat, for example, if you heat the, this trans, there will be rotation on heating. There is no free rotation, but on heating, there will be rotation and it will be converted into cis. Uh, such questions are asked. Okay, now you see here, uh, this is. A 6 pi, this is for example 2 pi, uh, no sorry, to 4 pi, 4 pi CCS, 4 pi organic CCS, and this is for example 6 pi, there are 6 pi electrons involved in this uh, electrocyclic uh, reactions. Uh, similarly, 8, for example, here 8, therefore, um, uh, octa tetraene, octa tetraene, octa tetraene, on heating, it gives this product, octa tetraene. After the train will give, after the train, or on reverse reaction, 
if you give the thought. Okay, now I have given two exercises. Exercise one, once we give thought and react with the slowly, what is the product form? Please write yourself, draw the structure, and uh, in organic in organic chemistry, you need to write down. You need to write down all the uh, reactions so that you will be able to write very quickly in the examination. And similarly, one more, one more react here. One in the second in the second problem, one comma three buta dying. One more reacts with two moles of that of benzoyl. What is the product? You just write and uh, practice yourself. In the next class, we will study about the mechanism uh, of pericyclic reactions uh, using frontier orbital theory. Thank you very much for watching.